Okay, folks, it's showtime! Let's get ready to rumble! Good day, everyone in YouTube land. Frenzy. This is my second review of Frenzy because the first one is, was just shocking. It really was. I didn't have a clue what I was going on about, so I've redone it. Uh, I I had a real nightmare trying to get the names of for this guy, you know, why it all went horribly wrong. But I've searched on Wikipedia, and this is how they say it goes. Um... Before Transformers started, in the old Micro Man, Micro Master range, whatever that bit was, this guy was known as Frenzy. As Rumble, sorry. Here we go again. This guy was known as Rumble in the Micro Master range. And the purple guy was known as Frenzy. But uh, when the Transformers series started, and I believe it was the Americans who made the mistake, um, they got the guys mixed up on screen, and this guy was now known as Frenzy. And the purple guy was known as Rumble. So, pre-Transformers, this was Rumble. Start of Transformers, this guy was Frenzy. So, there we go. This guy is Frenzy. The toy, or no, the character of this guy, was a Cassetticon. He was one of the guys that goes, in sound, goes inside Soundwave. So, he would be in there like so. Um, he's mainly a Season 1 character. Well, he's mainly not in it at all really. He does he pops up a few times. Um I don't know if you ever hear him speak. I'm not sure if you ever hear him speak. Um but he pops up I know one of his main episodes was the uh, Nightbird thing. Uh where the Japanese build that ninja. And he's at, he's there at the start with uh, Frenzy and uh, with with Rumble so you know just causing havoc like they do. Um and he, you know, he makes a few little appearances here and there. I transform him a couple of times through the, through this video to see him. See, um, he makes a few appearances. Um, season two, I really don't think you see him that much. Really, it's been a long time since I've watched the cartoons, but uh, it's a long. You know, I don't think he's in that much. Uh, in the movie, he's in the movie. He is one of the guys that uh, attack the big glass dome with Perceptor and Blaster. Oops. Uh, I'm still struggling with this cold. Uh, it attacks. Uh, Sandwave unleashes pretty much all of his uh, cassettes. Uh, Frenzy, Rumble, Ratbat, and Laserbeak. They all attack. They get inside. This big glass observation dome start attacking Perceptor. Uh, Perceptor. Perceptor says to Blaster, Save yourself! Don't worry about me! But Blaster steps in. No! I will save you! And finally reveals that he has Cassetticons, and out they pop, and they do battle with these guys. Um, but I can't really remember if that is the end. I think you, oh, you see him in Astro Train in the movie, when Starscream is throwing all like, you know, the disabled Decepticons out. Um, but then I think that's it. I really don't know if you see him again. I highly doubt you'll see him in Series 3, because you didn't even see Soundwave much in Season 3. But I know he's at when uh, Soundwave, you know, dies and gets remade into Soundblaster. He's there, well, all the cassette cons are there, and... I'm going to say that is pretty much the last time you see this guy. But transformation is pretty darn simple. Just fold down those bits, and they become his legs. Oh, wrong way. That way, sorry. And his feet, he's got little metal feet, which you just slide out, like so. And his arms come down, and they reveal his little head. And there is Frenzy. Oh, dropping everything. He's got these real cool silver guns, which they just clip onto the back. This was, I don't know, yeah, this was a, a friend from a, a present from a good friend of mine, so... You know, he sent this to cheer me up, and it really worked. Because he is an awesome, awesome little toy. So there he is with his uh, weapons. Uh, Height-wise, he's about the same size as Bumblebee. Um, and next to Soundwave, he, he's a good G1 comparison. Probably one of the more accurate G1 toys around, you know, compared. So yeah, um, 
He's a really cool little toy. I would highly recommend you getting this guy. And I'm really trying to find Rumble to have you know to have the two together. Um, but you know there are a lot of uh, knockoffs out there. Um, they are very good quality. This guy is a knockoff, and he is awesome. Very nicely made. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. This probably wasn't the most entertaining review ever, but um, there is Frenzy, and thank you very much for watching. You will have a good day. Bye.